What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Family Man. How you guys doing today? We are here today to open this package up and see what the tile slim looks like. It just came out just a couple days ago and as soon as I saw the email I ordered it and uh, I can't wait to open this up and uh, put this into my wallet and see how thin it really is. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, tile slim, there we go. Showing actual size. You guys can read the back. Um, both available for Apple Store and Google Play Store. You can attach it to anything. And you can see it's one tile. All right. Boom, 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 boom. There's a bunch of instructions, you know, warranty information, uh, but did not include the, um, like, double-sided adhesive. Um, that You had to buy that extra. And it does not include any keyring because there is no where to put the keyring. So this is designed especially for your wallet or to glue on or to double-sided tape onto some other device. It's not meant for your keyring, like the original tile is. Very cool. Feels good. Let's go ahead and put away the packaging. And the very first thing we're going to do, we're just going to compare them. Let's go ahead and zoom in really quick. So you can see, there we go. There's the tile and the tile slim. You can see the size difference. It's probably um, three quarters of an inch bigger in both ways. But when you turn it this way, wow. Look how slim that is. That is about half the size of that was. I believe this the original tile is like five point something millimeters, 5.3 millimeters, and this new one is uh, 2.5. And if you guys want to compare that to the, uh, the slimmest one currently before this uh, tile slim was on the market was this Tracker. And this is the Tracker 2 Generation 2. You guys can see that video right there if you want to, which is 3.5. So you guys can see the difference right there. It is extremely thin. And I can't wait to put this into my wallet. But you can see it fits right in here where the credit cards belong. And once it's in there, you really can't notice it being in there. It just feels just like another credit card. But if you would take the original tile and it is twice as thick and you can definitely feel it you can see it it doesn't feel right so them making this towel slim is the perfect thing for your wallet go ahead and connect it and see how easy it is to connect all right we're going to go into the tile app and the first thing we're going to do is connect it and then we're going to test the sound because the town is very important all right, we're going to hit the plus button. We're going to add a new tile. And it's asking you, is it original or slim? This is a slim. Press firmly on the logo on the front. It says it's previously activated. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, there it goes. Maybe it was trying to do this one. There we go, tile activated. Uh, we're going to say this is my wallet. All right, and just like that, it's connected. Let's listen to see how loud it is. And face up. It's not extremely loud until you turn it over. That is a lot louder, a lot louder. So if it's face down, if it's in your wallet, it's not going to be so loud. But let's compare that to tile generation 2. We're going to do them both face down. We're going to do the wallet, the tile slim. So they're just about the same, but let's turn them over. And let me show you this. I'll show you the the range finder, the range thing. Here we go, generation two. And 
now the wallet. So as you can see from the range meter, the tile slim is not quite as loud as the generation two, but compared to, let's go ahead and compare this to tracker generation two. Just for comparison. So Tile Slim is just a tad louder than the Tracker Generation 2. So Tile Generation 2 is the loudest. So Tile Generation 2, then Tracker Slim, and then follow behind there is the Tracker Generation 2. So very cool. So um, you should also be able to find this by pre or finding your phone by pressing the button on the, the tile generation 2. So let's go ahead and test that out. Let's close down the app but keep it app running in the background. I think you have to hold it down. Oh, you have to hit it twice. And there you go, just like that. Now one thing that would be awesome is if they would be able to find your phone if the tracker app is off. Which it just gave me, as I was turning off the app, it just reminded me to keep it on. So let's see what happens anyways. As you can see, nothing happens. It makes a little sound on the tracker, on the tile but that's all it does. So if you happen to turn off the app and you lose your phone, you're not gonna be able to find it with the tile. You're gonna have to go on your computer and use the tile app, which I believe works, if I'm not mistaken, or use one of the other trackers like uh, the XY3 Finder, which you don't need to have the app run it. So there's a video on that if you guys wanna check that out. So, all right, so that's the Tile Slim. Very cool, I'm excited to put this in my wallet. I'll put a link down below. Um, right now they are running about $30, but they are brand, brand new. So I think the prices might drop in, in say six months to a year. And then um, see what other new products come on the market and I'll definitely do reviews on that. So guys, check out the link below if you guys wanna check out pricing and availability. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that like button right down there. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out these other videos um, of Tile, Tile Generation 2, and the distance test between Tile Generation 2 and the Tile Slim. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe right here. And I appreciate your likes and your comments. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.